Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer Wix website to another Wix account in 2023. Whether you're collaborating with a team member or handing over your website to a new owner, transferring a Wix website is a straightforward process. In this guide, we'll show you the simple steps to move your website to another Wix account without losing any data or design elements. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and access your Wix account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you want to use in this tutorial. I'm going to use here Brave Browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, go to the URL section, simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. If it's your first time, you will be asked to log in into your account. If you don't have an account, make sure to simply go and create an account for yourself. And of course, if you're just creating your account, make sure to uh, scroll down in the homepage, read more information about it, so you'll be uh, sure that you want to create an account here in Wix. And of course, to familiarize yourself even with Wix website. Of course, you'll find how to log in into your account or where to log in into your account or even create your account at the top right corner instead of like, this is just my account because I'm only logging into, into it. But for you in the homepage or home screen, you'll find an option from there to log in or even create your account. Once you just log into your account, you'll find yourself on this My Sites page. From here, if you don't have any sites, you can simply go and create a new site as an example to transfer the ownership of it if you don't have any. I've already made uh, another uh, a video uh, to show you how to create a new site on Wix. You can go and check it out on this channel if you need some guidance. Or uh, if you have already a website, you can simply go and access like your website. As an example, let's click on this site and simply click on it. And this will let us manage our website. This website is exactly what I click on. And here, as you can see, this is going to be my website. Of course, I will be able to edit the site whenever I want by clicking on this edit site. So let's just click on it as an example. Let's say that we still did not edit the site before even transferring the site. We would like to edit the site or finalize any uh, data. So maybe you are uh, like a person who creates websites for people. So maybe just come here and check if everything is working correctly. If you made all the changes uh, that is... Uh, you were asked to do and of course so make sure to do everything that you will need and once you do so of course then you'll be able to transfer the websites so basically of course if you want to add anything you'll be able to add this example pages and menus as, as you can see here you'll be able to add some blank page about page service page products uh, projects page as you can see wix helps you with all the templates that you may need if you want to add pages as an example depending on the template that you choose you'll find here the templates of like about service projects contact general landing page uh, 44 error page store booking blog pricing plans and dynamic pages so whatever you want you'll be able to add you can even add some blank page if you want to do your own changes and of course if you want to discard on it any changes make sure to simply hit the Control z button and you will go back all wait so other than pages of course you can add some sections to your blank page example and add some element like text image button uh, stripe uh, decorative box gallery uh, videos whatever you want you'll be able to add it of course if you need anything specific i've probably already made a video on how to do that like how to add a menu how to customize your menu how to add your video how to add your images depending on whatever you want on this wix website you will find your uh, me that's already did this video and of course before making anything make sure to preview your site on the desktop and even uh, on the desktop user and even on the mobile users as example here on desktop as you can see people will be able to click on things as example and even on the mobile so click on mobile as example and even check how mobile users are seeing your website and so make sure to go and check all of that you can even go, go and download the wix app if you want to to use it of course it's gonna it can be uh, like useful if you want to and of course other than that example, so let's just go back to the editor. You'll be able to share your website before even publishing it with other people to get some feedback. So go here to site at the top right corner, then click on get feedback and you will be uh, get or you'll get a link. This link, you can simply 
copy it and give that link to other people. If you give that link to other people, they will be able to access your preview uh, on your website, on even in mobile, on desktop, and you'll be able to leave some feedback. As you can see, I've already did this and someone here or they leave a comment so I can actually click on view comments and see how people or what people say on a specific point. So they can put a specific point on a specific page as an example and add their comments as an example. So they have an issue why it's a specific page or something like that. They can put that uh, on a specific point and tell me what's wrong about it or they can simply tell me it's good uh, to go, it's good to publish. So now what we'll need to do as an example, let me just show you as an example the comments here. So uh, the comments will show here normally and I'll be able to see it. So I already revoked that comments, but I will not find it. So there's not going to be a big problem. Now, if I want to transfer the ownership, of course, we can simply go to sites again at the top left corner. And once you do so, make sure to go scroll down a bit and click on this transfer site. So as you can see, hand over ownership of your site to someone else. Click on that. Once you do so, this will open a new page for you. So let's just wait for a bit until this page loads. It should not take a lot of time. And of course, here, as you can see, so I'll be able to first, oh, I will have to first, of course, finish this step if I want to. It, if I want to deliver like a complete site without doing or without the uh, the other ownership having to do anything, I can transfer the site with completing those. Uh, let's set up your store first. So make sure to finish it if you want to uh, transfer a complete site. So as you can see, transfer the sites. Uh, this is the name of the site. Give ownership to the site to another person or add collaborators and keep this site. If you want to learn how to add collaborators, for example, so you can add, add collaborators and give them roles uh, to uh, play, to play, to edit, like, as an example, your website. Maybe there are workers for you or something like that. So you can do that if you want to, as you can see. So you'll find here how to do that. As an example, you can go to settings, uh, roles and permissions and add people to collaborate and you'll be able to give them roles, uh, what they want or what they will have to do, as you can see. So website manager or admin or co-owner, website designer and etc. For us, we want to transfer, so simply, who will be the new site owner? So simply, you'll have to enter the email address of the person that you would like to transfer the ownership to. So as an example, I'm just gonna type here test at gmail.com. And as you can see, uh, what you would describe them as, a client, an agent, or a freelancer, or someone else. So choose whatever suits you, then click on continue as an example. And here, as you can see, you can uh, check this option of keeping my roles as website manager of the site after the transfer. Or if you don't want to keep them, if you are going to, to just transfer everything and you will not have to do anything with the site anymore, make sure to uncheck this option. And you can even create a copy of the site and keep it in my account. You can check this option if you want to have it for like future designs or something like that. Or if you have it, if you just created the template, as I, as I said before, if you're just buying or selling like your uh, website to other people. Once you do so, click on continue as an example and here and as an example, you'll remain a website manager. So here they will just give you the summary of everything and confirm and understand that when I transfer the site to this email will be the new owner, including the site that I'll all media third party service and account. So click on transfer website if you, or ownership if you want to transfer your website and you will be good to go. So congratulations. If you do that, you are you transferred or the Europe site. So. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.